Okay, I want to show you the uh, uh, new vehicle for the farm. Uh, this is pretty, something to get around in is really essential out here. Uh, to go places where you don't want to get the truck and the tractor out. Uh, this is a uh, golf cart. It's a, a, um, a 2011 club car. Bought it used. Uh, the dealer installed headlights and taillights. Installed a uh, lift kit to raise it up. Put these big knobby tires on it to get us around in the rough areas. Uh, in place of the uh, where the clubs go on the golf cart, they put a rear seat with a rail around it. Step to put your feet on. Uh, underneath the that is a uh, trailer hitch for moving stuff around. Uh, this can carry four people, obviously, but most of the time it will be used as um, as a truck put tools on it area underneath to put even more stuff so you can go out and work in the remote areas of the property without uh, having to um, take a tractor out there and it's much smaller you can get into a lot of a lot of little areas as long as you uh, watch out for the overhead limbs. The roof on it is the extended roof. Um, goes much further back than a normal golf cart so that the passengers in the back are shaded also. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's the windshield? It does have a windshield. We took the windshield off in order to move it on the trailer. Because um, when you back it on the trailer like we have to do with our trailer, uh, the wind will just, road wind will blow the windshield right off. So we took it off to transport it and then concluded there's no point in putting it back on in the summertime. We need all the breeze we can get uh we'll put it back on when it gets cool which will probably be november or december uh other than that it works just fine uh the way it is we need to go um, drive it around and look at some of the property in the woods and if you're thinking about a way to get around on your farm and you don't have a horse well you may want to um, get you a, a golf cart this one uh, works real good. It also, the dealer put brand new batteries in it. So the only thing that's uh, four years old on it is the, the motor and the um, frame. Pretty much everything else is uh, brand new and uh, performed quite well. Let's go take a ride. All right. Okay, we're gonna drive down the property line here. Did finally get the, the tractor out to get this mowed. Uh, with all the spring flooding we had, it was too mushy to mow. Then the rats ate the wires, so the tractor was out of commission for a while. So uh, finally, in September, first time we got to cut this stuff this year. So we're we got a trail cut through here. Obviously, a lot of cleaning we got to do. Uh, trimming along the uh, fence line here. We've got jungle on the other side of the fence. Uh, only used over there for deer hunting. I don't think the owners have been there in years. Uh, so we have to clean this up. Did cut a couple of little trails through here. We really need to mow the pasture down here which we're going to try to do this afternoon and uh, it's 
it, it's not been mowed all year and it's uh, over six feet tall now. Yeah, downhill here. We took the downhill governor off so it does pick up speed going downhill. Much more convenient than the way they're set up for the golf course. Okay, we'll go through some of the unmowed area here. And you can see how tall the grass is. Weeds, really. Uh, we've got about an acre here that needs to be cleaned out. See what happens if we drive through this stuff and get totally inundated here. Look at that, that's a tree that's four feet tall that wasn't even here last time this all play. Look at this jungle. Wow. We do need to get the tractor out. Get some of this cleared out so we can get all the way to the back of the property. Most of the time we can't get back there, so we need some good trails that will allow us to get back there and inspect things. We grow timber here, so mostly we sit around and watch trees grow, but it does require some maintenance if you're going to live here also. Uh, we uh, Trying to get this um, cleaned up so we can start building. We need a house and a barn. We tore the house down. If you've seen our earlier video of that, uh, using our tractor, uh, that was a fun project. So now we're just having to live in a trailer until we get the house built. So our goal was to do that this year, but uh, between uh, the flooding and the rains, the, the county was declared a disaster area in June because of the flood. By August we had burn bans in because of the drought. So that's what you get in Texas. Uh, but it uh, is really nice woody out here in East Texas so uh, it, it's a fun place to live. So go back out. The neighbor just finally mowed a big 30 acre pasture uh, this weekend again it's been growing all year because nobody could get out there so it's uh it's looking nice now looking forward to the falls so we can actually get more work done won't be quite as hot probably won't be much more than 90 in september and october uh, but anyway this is, this is the fun buggy, as you can tell. It's a nice, smooth ride. Uh, these tires go over ruts and, and uh, suspension and all, and just really doesn't create any um, bumpiness at all. I guess if you tried to go real fast, you could. Looks like the top speed on this thing is um, between 18 and 20 miles an hour, which is all you need out here. You really want to be a speed demon you can uh, zip these things up and make them go faster. This is all electric. We don't have any gasoline engines to maintain. It's a 48 volt system. It uses six 8 volt batteries. Uh, we charge it every night so that it uh, maintains the full charge, always ready to go, and it's supposed to extend the battery life. Uh, we've got some, some woods out here that need some cleaning. Uh, I would drive by the big tree. This big uh, tree right here 
probably four and a half feet in diameter at the base, was uh, knocked over during Hurricane Ike. It's a red oak tree. It was huge. Uh, I would burn it, but it'll probably burn for a week, so I don't know quite what we're going to do with it yet. Uh, anyway, I'm going to come back into the woods here. Watch out for the branches, don't let them hit you in the face. Yeah, that was something we drug. Uh, I knew we got this uh, trail here. It's not a trail yet. Uh, we're going to chop down some of these the low pine trees, make a trail through here. And uh, we've got a nice little creek down here it goes to. So we'll make a little park area down there. The grandkids should love that. And uh, it's always shaded in here because of all the trees. So it'll be a nice place to, uh, to hang out. Anyway, um, appreciate you riding along with me. So um, we'll uh, try to get more of these videos up. We're usually too busy doing stuff to film things. So uh, thanks for coming along on a ride. See you next time. Goodbye. Okay, here's the cart uh, on the trailer. Tied down and secured, ready to uh, drive off into the sunset. Should do okay. Hooked up to the pickup truck. And uh, we'll be putting it on the road here in just a little bit. Uh, see you later.